All right, welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die on the Rebirth Mod. I'm the Bearded OG, and I'm under attack. Um, I was just sitting up here on my roof. I had to go AFK for a second and came back and holy shit. So I don't, I don't know. It sounds like there's a lot of Zeeks down there. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to run away because this little building is not, oh God, there's a lot. <laughs> this little building's not going to hold up to that many Zombos. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah. Let's just get the fuck out of here. I, I don't know if that was an outbreak. Uh, or what the hell it was. Um, look at them all. Holy shit. My, um, my, uh, game is like really stuttering too. That's a shit ton of Zeeks. Okay, so, um, yeah, wow. I guess we're gonna, I guess we'll lead them way down this road. I'm, I'm assuming, well, I'm hoping that, you know, if I get far enough away from them, they'll despawn. But let's let's lead them even further away though from our base and everything else. That is a huge horde. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I think this must be one of those outbreaks, maybe? I don't know. Last time I saw a wandering horde that big was when I played Ravenhurst. But they weren't running. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Is that a moose? There's a moose! This overall has moose! Mises! That's amazing! <laughs> okay. Yeah, I wasn't planning on um, on starting up yet. I was going to wait till morning, but then that happened, right? Holy shit. Uh, what's this place? Oh, I think this is Fort uh, Army Post number 7, yeah. Oh, okay, so... They're, they're still coming. Oh, my God. Are they going to blow that car up? I mean, I do not have the means to kill those motherfuckers. No way. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, let's go further down the road. Maybe we're, we're going to have just a little bit of a night trip here. And explore some more of the map, because if they're just going to keep chasing me, you know, we, we can't, we got to get away from them. That's just all there is to it, because I can't kill them. So, I think we came through, yeah, this is where we came through when we first uh, got to the city in episode two, I'm pretty sure it is. Let's just go to the east and see what happens. Um, yeah. Now, uh, a couple of things I want to mention. I have been, um, chatting with Furious Ramsey and, uh, some of, some of the other fine folks in his discord. And, um, I found out a couple things that I wasn't aware of because, you know, I started this blind. First of all, because I chose to play this game using the purge scenario, we're not going to get Horde Knights, we're not going to get Trader Jobs, and we cannot hire NPCs um, because the scenario, you know, um, overrides a lot of the, the normal gameplay mechanics. So, I'm trying to decide what to do about that. If I decide to, uh, to continue... Uh, playing the, on uh, on the purge, then what I will almost certainly do at some point in the near future, um, start a new series where we just play the overhaul normally. Um, or I might I might start over and play it normally and not do the purge for now. I don't know. I haven't decided. I got to think that through. 
So I just want everybody to kind of be aware of that, and we'll we'll just play things by ear and see how it goes. Um, in some ways, um, Ramsey said that you know playing playing the purge first is might not be a bad idea because things are actually not as intense overall. Oh shit, that's a bear. So I don't know. We'll see. I, I'm going to keep going for now, and as long as you guys are enjoying it and I'm enjoying it, we'll just keep going with the purge. But I, I, I can. I'm not going to promise anything, but I also never say never either, you know. And so I can see myself definitely, um, you know, doing another series on this where we just play it normally, you know, play the mod normally, not do the scenarios. Okay, we're quite a ways away from that horde. Let's just sit here for a bit and see what happens. Um, a couple other clarifications that uh, I learned from the Discord, uh, Ramsey's Discord, is that when when you go into a, a, a biome, a, another biome, the effects you know that you get like dysent dysentery and some of the other um, ill effects, apparently those just can happen to you if you're not ready for that biome. And what that means in the scenario that we're playing is that I have to have, I have to clear the about 70 or 75% of the zombies out of the forest biome before I can safely go into those other biomes um, without taking vitamins. So that's a different mechanic than the normal, you know, getting infected by a zombie that hits you or drinking, you know, dirty water, that sort of thing. So I still have to, you know, be cognizant of, of those things. God, it's dark, man. Look at how dark it is on, on this side of me. <laughs> I still have to be cognizant of those things, um, you know, like I would in, in, in a normal playthrough of seven days to die. So that means vitamins, uh, you know, we definitely want to keep vitamins on us and try and take them when we're, when we're in combat as much as I can remember to do that and as we have the resources to do that. Uh, let's see. I've also, uh, I, I mean, you guys have already noticed this from the last episode, but a lot of the comments I've been getting have to do with, you know, the fact that you can pick stuff up. So obviously we've discovered that, um, which is really, really useful. And, um, I've also had a few comments both here on the channel and in the discord that, um, I, I need to, I, I should stick to just my class weapons, my machine gun and my ax, because if I use those other weapons, I'm not leveling up my class. Um, and I kind of I kind of figured that out in the last episode too, but it was it has been clarified. And but on the other side of that coin, though, if I, I was also told that if I continue to use the sledgehammer, um, I will eventually get a class fragment. That if I can also come up with the fragment for the pistol, then I can actually build uh, or or assemble the book for the builder class, which does specialize in sledgehammers. So there's still potentially an incentive to use that. But I think for now, I'm just going to stick to my class weapons so that I can level those things as quickly as possible and, you know, become more effective. So we'll, you know, we'll figure all that stuff out down the road. Okay, so let's start slowly moving back and see if, you know how fucked I would be right now if I didn't have a helmet light? <laughs> well, this is how fucked I would be. I would almost be in pitch black. Oh my god, I'm so glad we found that early on. Anyway, let's uh let's go back and see if that horde has despawned or if it's still coming after me or what the hell's going on, I don't know. One thing that did concern me is is you know, it really affected the performance of my of my game. I've got a pretty powerful computer that I built, but um the thing is is when I I'm recording these at the same time I'm playing and I've got the settings all, all pretty much all, all the way cranked up to ultra. So we might have to, I might have to dumb down the settings a little bit if we're going to have problems with frame rates and stuff with, with that many zombos. I suppose what we could do is loot some of these cars on the way back. So we're doing something productive. Maybe we'll do that. Yeah, that car doesn't have anything. This looks like a scooter of some sort. Moped. Alright.
Nothing there. Remember, too, I've ha I have feral sense turned on at night. Uh, oh, wow. Look at that. Okay, so we can... We could fix this truck up. I wonder if... I wonder if this would have more storage space than the, the van that's over by the trader. Hmm. Interesting. You know what, too? I think I'm going to... Let's actually mark this so we know that it's here. Um, we'll just use this and we're going to say army truck. Because I might, I might not almost prefer to have that than the van, except for that it, does it use more gas though? I would in real life, of course. I don't know. Nothing there. Nothing there. Yeah, man, these, this dark night is like creepy as hell. I love it. <laughs> it's very, very immersive. There we go. We got some glue. Oh, I did uh, find out too that I can, I can pick up, you know, like that, um, that act, that workbench. Oh, this is repairable. Ooh. Okay. So that's going to be. That's going to be easier to repair than the other vehicles. Well, assuming I'm assuming that. Okay, let's also mark this. I don't know how common these are going to be, so I'm going to mark them for now unless I, I find out um, that they are fairly common. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, that vehicle would not be lootable in vanilla, so excuse me, I'm assuming it probably won't be here either. Here's a VW bug. And that's also not lootable. All right, guys, well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep the camera rolling, but I'm going to uh, edit out the rest of the night unless something crazy happens between now and morning. And I'm just going to go along and keep harvesting resources, looting cars as I work my way back. And if that horde does reappear, I'll definitely, um, you know, show that. But otherwise, um, I will see you guys in the morning. Honeycomb. All right, guys, it is morning. Uh, we passed the rest of the night with no, uh, no problems. Um, I did loot one vehicle that gave me a whole bunch of frames, which was great. And then, you know, everything else was pretty much just the basics. So I'm just, uh, I decided, I mean, and I did put all, all this shit down, all these containers, but decided not to get too crazy about organizing things because I don't think I want to stay here. This building is way too uh, weak. Uh, w w you know, now that I saw the size of that horde that came through, uh, we just, it, this isn't going to sustain us for very long, but we do need to get, um, some food going. Um, so let's just grab everything that we have food wise and we'll see what we can, what we can make. I, I cooked up a bunch of water. So we have 11 boiled water and some cooking fat. Uh, all right. So we can make boiled meat. What are we missing? Oh, we're missing eggs for bacon and eggs. Okay, this other... This other um, dish that we could make... Well, oh, yeah, the Purina's tamale. What are we missing there? Chrysanthemum. I should have chrysanthemum right here. So, yeah, I'm not bothering really trying to organize any of this stuff because there's no point if we're going to move, which I think we will. So... Let's go ahead and make three of those because we're very low on food. Now, um, now that I know, too, that I, I do have a chance of, in fact, a 7% chance of dysentery uh, for that, I don't think I have any vitamins. Let's just double check here. Um, I am putting ammunition stuff here that we're not going to, you know, sell in there. I have 46 arrows. Yeah, let's store that in there, too. 
But. Yeah, shit. I don't have any vitamins. Well, that's a problem. I'm going to grab all this cash and see if the trader wants it now. Uh, I didn't actually look to see when they reset either. We've got, uh, we got a fair amount of pipes from all the car looting. And I found on the road here, I found a... A Beamer, a red BMW, and it goes 20 kilometers per hour, so it's quite a bit faster than these. So that's something I would definitely be interested in getting if we if we could at some point here soon. Um. All right, so I before we drink all of this water, we should probably go see if Trader Rect has an antibiotic, uh, not an antibiotic, but a... Um, Whatchamacallit, uh, a vitamin that we can buy from him. It's just that I don't really have a lot of money either at this point. And so there's some things I'm, you know, that we could sell to him. Oh, I guess we need some more wood in here. And we could also, for the boiled egg, yeah, we could make we could turn actually turn these boiled waters into boiled meat. I don't know though if we'll still get a chance of dysentery. So let's make one and see what it does. Because the advantage of doing that is we'll get both food and hydration just like we do with this. Well, do we get hydration with this? Yeah, we do. Yeah, okay. So, you know, it's not really it's an issue of whether or not we have food, it's do we have safe food. You know what I mean? So we'll have to see how that all goes. Does this have dysentery chance? No, it doesn't. Okay, so let's throw all of these back. That'll give us a total of 45 food and 15 water. And some health, too, for that matter, which is something we also need. And we have to remember, too, that we have a chance of dysentery with canned food. So I think that's a Ravenhurst thing, if I remember. Uh, or Ravenhurst does the same thing is what I mean by that. Okay, we'll put the fat in there. We don't have enough eggs to make a bacon and eggs. Uh, what about coffee? Is that something I can make? I need whatever that machine is there to make coffee. A oh, distiller. Okay. So there's no point in carrying that around for for now. Uh, do I have an extra bunker buster? I do. Okay, so let's put this other bunker buster. Um, I guess we'll put it on our shovel. Oh, uh, Ramsey also told me that if I use the wrench, I can pick this up in just one power attack, uh, which is super useful and. He also told me that we can pick this up, too. Oh, look at that. So that's a full-on workbench. All right, let's put this for now. Um, We'll put this... Oh. Wait a minute. Why doesn't it not let me set it... Oh, do I have to... Oh, I got gotcha. you. I see how that works. Okay, so I need all of that stuff to repair it. Makes sense now. Okay, so you can't just pick it up and take it somewhere else and use it. Um, had I realized that, um, I wouldn't have picked it up yet, but that's okay. And that that's just me misunderstanding what he told me, uh, you know, how it works. So that's that's on me. It's all good. Not a big deal. Okay. Um, so, question is, does this give dysentery? It doesn't. Okay. And we get... Oh, but we don't get any hydration from it. Son of a... Oh, man. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what, then. We have 10 boiled water. And we get 10 meat from... Or 10 food from that. We're at 78. So let's make... Let's make three more of those. 
So we get our food completely topped off and then have a little bit of extra. Okay. And then before we drink this water, because we're not like in dire straits at the moment for water. Um, can I drink this beer? It gives me 15 water. I just don't know if it will also blur my vision. I guess there's only one way to find out. Bottoms up. Huzzah! All right, it doesn't. Um, cool. Okay, so we're not going to drink that just for hydration um, because, we, we, you know, we, we need it for, like, the, the buffing that it gives us. Stamina regen, armor rating, stun resist. Yeah, so we need to save that for, for sticky situations. But, man, it's awesome that we don't get all fucked up, you know, from drinking like we do in vanilla. Which, you know, it's kind of silly that vanilla gives you, messes you up from just having one beer. <laughs> I mean, if you had, like, five or six, yeah, but one? What the hell? Anyway, okay. So, let's let the, we'll let this last piece of meat finish cooking. I'm going to put the rest of this stuff in here for now. Um, including the, the canned food. So, yeah, we can't, we can't, I mean, we can, but we shouldn't eat canned food straight up. If we, unless we're desperate, right? And we're going to take all this stuff to the trader to do an exchange. Let's drop off uh, the boards in there for now. And again, not worried about stuff being particularly organized because the plan is going to be that we're going to move here. Okay, so let's throw back... Two more of these, and that'll get us almost completely full on food, and our health will also benefit significantly from that. And we'll save this piece for a little bit later on today. So we're okay if we get infected, because we have a couple honeycombs, but um, I am concerned about... What is this? That's all boiled water. Okay. I'm concerned about getting dysentery, right? So let's go see if Rekt has a vitamin, first of all. And if he does, then what we might be able to do to uh, purchase it from him. If he doesn't, then we're probably just going to have to take our chances. Um, I, the other thing, too, is we should look and see if we can make goldenrod tea, because that might be the way to go. Um, trade ammo. Okay. I want 762. Man, we get seven for that. Okay. That brings us up to, uh, let's see, eight and 24. So we have 32 rounds in total now. That's not a lot, but hopefully it'll save our ass. All right, let's go see if wrecked. And Rex's never going to have Get jobs off. for us because um, those are removed with the purge. So look quick, buy quicker, piss off fastest. Okay, he doesn't have a vitamin. Son of a bitch. Does he have a goldenrod? Nope. Um, what do you have? Okay, he's got steel and iron. We're going to have to eventually come across this stuff so we can make a firearms repair kit. He doesn't have black dye which we need for storage, I presume because, you know, we can we can label it so the die is so we can write on it, which makes sense. Um, will you buy this? You fucker. Why doesn't he want to buy my cash? <laughs> I know some fellers that break legs for coin. You won't even talk to me until I kill 50 explosion-resistant zombos. You're the guy that has these missions, but they're god awful expensive for us right now oh I just realized something oh oh I see what's going on here okay so it looks to me like this is just normal currency and it's not something you can sell by itself it would be like trying to sell dukes gotcha okay see I'm getting smarter we, and we do have this workbench here, too, by the way, so it wasn't a big deal about that other one that we can't do anything with at the moment. Okay, he has no vitamins. Can we make goldenrod tea? 
or even red tea. If not, then we're pretty much going to have to take a chance with drinking boiled water straight up. You know what? I never actually looked in here to see what kind of damage those guys did. Well, they didn't they didn't do too much, but I they must have just shown up right before I came back. I went and got made myself a coffee in real life, right? And I came back and I heard all the growling. I'm going, "Oh shit." Um, tea. That is... Ah, oh shit. We can't do it. It's locked. Damn it. All right, well, um... Let's just keep, you know, doing POIs and that sort of thing, and hopefully we'll be able to loot more beer or find other ways of hydrating without having to drink boiled water. I think that's probably the way forward. And let's just keep this in there for now. So here's the thing. Um, I, I don't want to live here, obviously. I just, I, I mentioned that earlier, right? Uh, in this episode, I think I'm getting my episodes mixed up. Uh, by the way, I am recording a lot of these back to back, so I won't see uh, some of your comments until later. I've, I've published episodes one and two so far. And I've finished recording episode three, and this will be four. So just FYI on that point. But um, I was curious about maybe going back up and checking out this tower, this white tower. One, and one of you guys did say in the comments after episode two that you thought that looked like a windmill with the turbines off. And I agree. I think that's exactly what it is. But it's kind of far away from the trader. So what I was thinking about is maybe taking over one of these houses over here and, you know, moving in and living in a house. The other thing that I'm apprehensive about is I don't know. This place is probably way above our level. Let's take a look. A hundred and eight. Oh, shit. They're already coming. 118 zombies. Yeah, I don't think we'll be doing that anytime soon. Yeah, see, the, the game is stuttering really bad now that some of those zombies, I guess, that's what it is. Hmm. That's concerning. Anyway, uh, we do have a house here. But what I was what I was actually about to say before I interrupted myself was that uh, I don't know how badly these tornadoes are going to affect things, right? So what's that? A speaker schematic. Okay. We'll learn that. Look at this place. That's cool. Oh. Ouch, you motherfucker. Let's get a little further down the road, get away from him. Oh, shit. That's a black wolf. Okay, let's go back this way. <laughs> Doing a little bit of back and forth here. Oh, shit. Oh, not good. Get on the fucking bike. Get on the bike. God damn it. That did not go well. <laughs> Ouch. <coughs> I didn't realize that wolf was that close to me. I thought it was further ahead of him. Oh, jeez. That's a big group of Seekers. Okay. Um, yeah, we're, we're a little messed up here. Let's get a little further away from those, those guys. And then we need to medicate. 
I thought I was dead there for a second, you guys. I couldn't. I was kept, ta you know, smashing the E key to try to get on the bike, but it wasn't. It wasn't letting me get on. Oh, this is just going back to our house. Okay. Um. Yeah. We don't even, we haven't really even looted anything yet. Okay, so let's go shift five and take a honeycomb. And that, okay, that takes care of the infection. Let's do, oh, look at my health. Oh my goodness. Let's take one of these to deal with the abrasion and get a little health back. And I would consider taking the steroid but that's going to make us thirsty right yeah no i think we're going to have to just deal with this sprain until it goes away we can't afford to make ourselves thirsty Whew. okay that was not that didn't go well <laughs> that did not go well um i'm curious about something too since we killed some of these zeeks do they all just repop again No, it says there's still only seven left, so hopefully it stays that way. Hopefully it stays that way, but I need a little more ammo before we finish that place. All right, well, we can't sprint on the bike or we're going to aggravate our sprain, so we're just going to have to go in slow mode for now. But let's go back over here. Hopefully that other horde that spawned is has despawned by now. I don't know. I didn't get uh, real far away from them, so we'll see what happens. But I'm thinking, you know, we, we take over this this first house on the right up here after we turn and head um, south. All right. So um, first question is, what level is this place? says it's hangman's retreat it's not giving me the the purge indicator thing oh now okay there's only there's only four zeeks here and it is tier zero okay so we could do this place kind of a nice place too and we even have a water supply which is great we have a, a fence that we could repair. Kind of a nice little yard. Oh, Hangman's Retreat. Okay. I think I might see a Zombo over there. Yeah, that's a that's a sleeper. I'm going to I'm still going to use the bow more for pulling than you know, for any other reason. Oh, I'm what? I'm not getting through. Oh, I can't even move through there. Interesting. Oh, he's awake now anyway. All right. One shot his ass. It's a nice little shop out here. It's already got a working workbench. Oh, there we go. We needed that. Screwdriver. Okay. Um, let's... We're probably going to take this place over, but bef let's just... I want to go look at this other place one more time. It's... If for no other reason, it's kind of... Got my curiosity up. Is that fucking wolf going to come back, though? Is, is it like... Look at this place. This is cool. Probably beyond our means at the moment. 
What is this, by the way? Ranged expertise boost book fragments. You can assemble a number of these into a full ranged expertise boost book. Cool. There's a battery. Oh, this is a five skull place with 123 zombies. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe later. Maybe later. All right, let's look over here real quick. We didn't really get a chance to look at anything. Notice how I don't well, I don't know if you guys can notice this, but when those spawn in, man, it really stutters. Cause some stuttering on my game. But you know, here's the other thing too. This is this is still an experimental, so maybe maybe there are things that Furious Ramsey can do to optimize. Okay, there's only seven entities here. Wow, I can loot that from all the way back here. Damn. Be fun to have a Humvee. Okay, let's harvest this for some potentially honey. Nope, not that time. We'll check this. I see a see a dog kennel over there. Tacos. Whoa. Man, our health is low. We really got to be careful here. In fact, why don't we why don't we take one of these? That'll give us a little health back and some food. And I think I'm gonna take another one of these too. Cause uh yeah, that was that was actually pretty damn dangerous there. That hit from him. So it's saying there's six Zeke's. Okay, we gotta keep him from from hitting us. Beautiful. Okay, let's take out this other asshole. He's not smart enough to go out the door like the other guy was. Oh, look at you. Burn, baby, burn. There's a forge. This first forge. Well, no, I guess we have a forge of the trader. Never mind. Oh, meds. Come on, vitamins. That's not vitamins. Damn it, Jim. How about some coffee? Like actual liquid coffee. He's a zombie fisherman. Well, that makes sense that there would be lead fishing weights. Oh, I haven't seen those in a long time. <laughs> just occurred to me that, you know, they removed those from the main game. All right, there's an Arlene. This might be a good opportunity to do this. All right, that noise, by the way, uh, what that is, is that's our double damage proccing. Um, Furious Ramsey told me that too, so. Okay, we need to take care of Arlene first, of course. Which we just did. Arlene's been taken care of. We just don't want this guy to tag us in the legs. He did. We have two Zeeks left. They're both there. Alright. What's up, yo? Oh, shit. Don't get so close to me, man. Personal space. 
And then we have this final guy that was stuck there. Let's get him lit up. It's nice that we have this burning shaft mod just, you know, just to add a little bit of extra damage to what we're doing. OG reports seven targets purged from the Red Rocket gas station. Nice. I keep forgetting I can loot these guys, especially if they're going to give us seven six twos, man. You don't want to forget that. All right, so this forge does work. Another wrench. Um, yeah, we have, we already have a pair of pliers. We need a hammer is what we need. Come on, vitamin. Damn it, Jim. Some miso. I think that's acid. Right? Yeah, hydrochloric acid. I'm sure that would cure us from dysentery. And everything else. There's another cooking pot. Oh, that's right. We need a grill. Look at all that shit. Nice. Check the passing gas creaked. Okay. What's that? A car radiator? Nice. Um, all right. I want to pick this up and this up. Can we pick these up too? Oh, we can. Um, do they have... Do they have the same amount of storage space as the other cardboard boxes? All right, so they've got uh, 18 slots versus... Twenty-four. <clears throat> uh, great. Yeah, 24. Okay, so yeah, they don't have as much space internally as these boxes and they take up the same external space so uh i think we'll just harvest these for plastic and paper yeah that wasn't uh that wasn't a bad haul uh, but we still haven't found a vitamin yet which sucks we did find the screwdriver though which doesn't suck and the car radiator which doesn't suck now, question, can I put, I'll have to just experiment, but if I put this in one of those cars, can I pull it back out later or is it in there permanently? I don't know the answer to that. We can sell that stuff. Stamina, stamina, stamina. None of that stuff is lootable. We did check this, right? Yeah. Oh, there's boxes up here. More boards. Good. Okay, that's enough of that for now. Another shelf. Oh, uh, what's the hit points on this? 30,000. Nice. So we could, what's this? That's 1200. So that's the normal. Oh, grill. 
Oh god, that scared me. <laughs> I thought that was a sawball standing right there. Oh, there we go. Nice. Okay, we can make grilled meat now. I love it. So this building, um, Red Rocket building, might be a better candidate than that house just because it's a little bit of a stouter place. Uh, I cannot loot anything else. I gotta drop some of this stuff off on the bike. He says as he loots something else. What's this? Yeah, see, that's 10,000 hit points. This place would probably hold up okay to a tornado, I'm thinking. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't know what those tornadoes are going to actually do in terms of damaging our building. All right, well, we obviously need to go back and drop some shit off. Um, do we know what level this POI is? It's a, it's a tier three. Okay. Yeah, tier three. That's not going to work. All right, guys, I'm going to go back to the base, drop some stuff off, stop off at the trader, do an ammo exchange, see if we can sell a couple of things. And then, and then I just need to decide... I mean, this is a nice place. It's kind of a quaint little little house and stuff, but the Red Rocket's going to be way tougher, I think. So I'm kind of thinking maybe we're going to do Red Rocket, but anyway, um, we'll see. All right, I want to try something here. If we put this, uh, that's the, oh, that's a truck radiator. Okay, if we put the battery in here, can we pull it back out? Yes, we can. Okay. That's good to know. Um, So maybe I'll just kind of store this stuff in here, but we... I might move it, you know, to, to a better car later. So that's a car radiator and a car wheel. I have to pay attention to that because I'm just used to assuming, you know, in, in these games that a radiator is a radiator no matter what, which... Is certainly not the case here. All right, let's sell a couple things erect and see if we can just maybe buy some water because I am really thirsty. Holy shit. I thought you, you got money this time, or are you just here to piss me off? I'm here to piss you off. Okay, that gives us 620 coin. Don't let the door hit you on your way out. And that'll allow us to buy all of these. Okay. And then let's do an ammo exchange with... What's this guy's name? Briston. Okay. Think of piston, but with a bruh. Briston. Uh, let's see. Trade ammo. I want 7.6. And we'll get 8 for that. Nice. Now, these things we could... We can buy a firearm repair kit with. So that's probably something. I mean, we're doing okay right now. I, I have a bigger problem keeping enough ammunition. But uh, at some point we need to get one of those too, because as long as we have one of those, I, I don't think there's much point in me making a pipe machine gun. You know, because if we can keep the M60 repaired, then there's no point. Okay, let's buy this. But we just need to do this now because... Oh, fuck. I wasn't paying attention. I could have waited on that. God damn it. <laughs> okay, well, we don't have to worry about hydration for a while. Why don't we give ourselves a little more health, too? Yeah, wasn't paying attention. I should have waited on that, but okay. It's what it is. All right, so the question is, do we take over the house... I'd prefer to live in the house. It would be nicer to live in the house. Or do we do the gas station because it's a much stouter building? That is the question. And I'm not sure what the answer to that is. Let's, uh, let's look around just a little bit more before we make a decision. I don't want to get too much further away from the trader, though, either, so there's that. Let's hit these vehicles if we can do so without waking up Zeekers. Let's 
get that ready to get the fuck out of here if something bad happens. All right, hunter mod. That. What do I have on you right now? Yeah, we can put that on there. That'll help with critters. Oh, yeah, look at the frame rate. Yeah. That really does concern me. Let's try an experiment. If I if I just go into here and just do let's even just do a high preset but without motion blur because that shit gives me a headache uh, that doesn't that doesn't really seem to make a damn bit of difference all right let's try this let's go to let's go all the way to low Now my graphics card's got to back. Now, even that doesn't matter. So it's not it's not a graphical thing at all. Look how stuttery I am on low settings. I mean, I'm not even going to be able to fight like this. I'm like teleporting. That's a big problem. That is a very big problem. Hmm... Okay, well, we know it doesn't appear to be related to graphic settings. Let's put those back up, but again, with motion blur off. Yeah, I, I'm going to have to talk to Furious Ramsey about that because that's, that's, that is, uh, that's not going to work. <laughs> I mean, we can't fight like that. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I think it's, I think what's happening is it's spawning in all the zombies at once so it can do its little count thing, but it's totally, oh, God damn it, that greenie's coming after me. Let's go. But it's totally fucking up the, you know, the performance. Hmm. Oh, this is a police, oh, look at that. That's even faster than that beamer I saw. We're not being chased, are we? All right, here. Let's let's mark this. Oops. Um. Okay. So I don't. I don't care about this. Then let's remove that. And I think I'm even going to remove the army truck. But it would still be worth uh, for us to get that motorcycle. Because it's going to take less stuff to do so. All right. Anyway, back to this. Let's see. We came from that direction. I think this is all part of the same POI. Here's another gas station, but it's, um, you know, it's a, it's made out of uh, concrete instead of wood. But I don't want to live up on a roof anyways. I started my vanilla series in 1.1 living on a roof, and I'm just not inclined to do that again at this point. What about this place? It's kind of kind of small, though. It would be, it'd be pretty stout, but it's not, it's not all that big though is the thing. Here, let's, let's clear it first. I don't like the gas station in terms of it, the aesthetics of it. It's just kind of a 
drab industrial feel to it. Not very homey. But functionally, it would be good, right? Okay, we have four, an estimated four Zikaroos in here. There's our hammers. All right, good deal. We have two, so we could use one for the tool bench and one to actually use. And there's a small engine. I'll bet you that motorcycle needs that, unless it needs a motorcycle engine. In fact, does it tell us that if we go recipes? Oh, no, this is like a this, yeah, like the little Briggs and Stratton engine in the main game. That's not like one we would use in a vehicle. I think. I don't know. We'd have to check it out. Look at this thing. God, man, that sucker's way up there. How how strong is this? Yeah, only a thousand hit points. <laughs> yeah, that isn't gonna work. No Zombadu in there. Let's go around the corner here. Sports bag with a bandage. We'll take it. In fact, we'll take it. We need to top off. All right, so I guess all those dudes are in there, unless it's counting zombies on top of here. I think I know there's a buzzard up on top of this tower. All right, well, let's go inside. They're all going to be in there. Whew. She's quiet. Having trouble hitting her head there. For goodness sakes. Yeah, it's hard to get in there. Let's try this. There, finally. Give her some bleeds. The axe does not like to hit through the door. There we go. Now we're hitting it. Oh, she was behind here. I was going to say, where the hell did she even come from? That's it. Oh, shit. Are you just an outside Zeke, or are you part of this uh, POI? As if he can answer me. Oh, shit. Stamina. Nice. Okay, so it's estimating that there are two left now. Are these... Yeah, the, re the rest of them must be in the tower. Okay, so um, what is this? That's 1,200, so that's not super strong. It's cobblestone strong. Uh, all right. Well, let's go kill the vultures. I'm using this, though. Food. Tools. Another screwdriver. Nice. I don't remember... 
which one of these platforms the buzzard's on. It's been a while since I've been up on this thing. There's a bag there. Um. Yikes. I can't reach the bag and I don't want to necessarily try and jump off this ladder here. What if we did this? And then there. Still can't get to that fucking bag. We have to go all the way around to the front here. There we go. Well, that was worth it. For sure. All right, let's keep going. It still keeps going even higher. Oh, God. All right. I wasn't expecting two of them, but I figured the other one would be on that tower. But that tower might even be in a different POI. I don't know. This thing just keeps going. Can we... Uh, we can't climb on that. Hmm. There's a ladder on the other side. Oh, I see what we got to do. Okay. Jump off here. Hope you guys aren't afraid of heights. Just in case, I mean, I don't think there's going to be anything else up here, but just in case. Look at that view. Oh, shit. Don't fall. 14 rounds. Nice. I think that's a screenshot, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Let's... Yeah, we'll look off kind of to the... To the northwest with the mountains and stuff in the background and let's remove the hud and uh also hold on a sec if we go s4 we don't have anything in our hands okay look at that what a view huh Maybe we'll, um, let's also take one this direction. There we go. All right, nice. Well, if, if this tower has that much ammo at the top, I think we're going to want to do that one too, even though it's obviously, well, I don't know if it's obviously a different POI. Not sure. Hey, there's some medical. Very nice. No vitamins, though. Okay, so that's 5,000 hit points. That's only 300, though. So we could set up shop in here. Uh, it's a fairly stout building, but I don't know. I, I don't think we will. Let's go hit this other tower. This looks like a horse trailer. Kind of cool. Do we already loot this? That's like a jackrabbit. This is a Big Hail Mary shot. I don't want to waste a, a bullet. That's terrible. Okay, a little more, a little higher. A little closer. <laughs> oh, here. You found us. Okay. Yeah, we don't need... I mean, we could certainly use it, but it's not critical. I don't want to waste ammo on that. 
All right, let's go up here. Is this like a whole, like its own POI though? What? Maybe. All right, let's, um, let's just throw some stuff in here so we don't get too encumbered. Two Zombos, including that businessman. Okay, you're a pretty slow mover. Yep. I'm a fan of the burning shaft mod for sure. I always felt like it didn't really do enough damage, but in this case, it is really helping. And I don't know, maybe they even boosted it for the mod. Okay, so we should expect... Well, we could have two zombs, because, again, that number's just an estimate. Uh Oh, is this tower different than the other one? Or did I just go... I don't know. So just one buzzard. Oh, that didn't kill you? Must have missed. There we go. Yeah, this one's set up a little bit differently than that other one is. It's got a backpack, not an ammo box. But hey, look at that, though. Damn. Um, I think... Well, hmm. That's only going to give us damage for wood. So if I need to go out and chop some trees, I'll switch it out. But this is going to serve us better for combat, I think. Especially if we get in a scuffle with a, a wolf or a dog or something. All right. Nice. So that was definitely worth coming up here for as well. And eggs. Oh, yeah. There we go. There's a bacon and eggs for us. Yeah, only a thousand hit points, though. Not very strong. Oh, all right, guys. So we need to make a decision. We, as in I, need to make a decision. And I think my decision is we're going to, we're going to move into this house, but if we get a tornado come through and it blows the shit out of it, cause I don't know, like I said, I don't know how those are going to go. Then our fallback place would be the, will be the gas station, but I like this place better. And so that's what, that's what our plan is. So before it gets too much later, um, let's just finish clearing this place. We have an estimated three Zeeks left. Make sure everybody's loaded. Okay. This kind of a quaint little house. There's one Zombo right there. Sneak damage bonus. Actually, you know what? I don't want you to wreck my my door, so just come on out. Whoops. And whatever or whoever that Zombo is, it's out and about now. Oh, there you are. It's a crawler. All right, how do we get upstairs? This way. Hey, bruh. Vitamins? Haha, <laughs> vitamins! Oh. What the hell's going on out here? That door's locked. All 
All right, let's see if we can figure out what lock he's hitting on so we can help him. Oh, he's hitting on the door. Of course he is. All right, what is the strength of this? Thousand hit points. Oh, for goodness sakes, the horseshoes are in the way. Hey, look, a concrete mixer. Okay, hold on. No, don't use that. Use that. Now use this. It's usable, and we just need a battery. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Look at all that. Nice. All right. Yeah, we're living here. <laughs> we are going to live here. And with that concrete mixer, we can get the, uh, you know, the fence fixed up, too. We've got a little auto garage, and we even have our very own um, dead dangling guy. Yeah, dead dangling guy. Um, workbench in here. We'll, we'll get these vehicles out of the way. But, yeah, welcome to our new home, ladies and gentlemen. Let's... Let's take a quick peek inside. That just goes out there. Okay. Got a nice little kitchen in here. I like the the high ceiling, too. Here's our bathroom. And this is our bedroom. It's pretty, pretty cozy. Pretty damn cozy. Can I pick this up and put it back down and use it as a spawn point? Bet you I can. Uh, let's see, that was in FS2. Yep, that's our bed now. Okay. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this place up, get all this shit off the floor, get everything uh, looted. And, um, oh, here's another bedroom. Okay. The closet there. And then start putting down uh, all of these containers and, and start hauling my shit over here from the gas station and get things situated. The thing, the way that we're going to handle these really massive hordes that come through is we're just going to run from them. Because, I mean, I can't fight them right now anyways. I don't have the ammunition or the defenses to fight them. So if, you know, the, or the next time I should say that horde comes in, we're just going to jump on a bike and, and ride away and lure them away from our home until we can get to the point where we can actually defend it. And that is the plan. The only concern here, again, that I have... Though, and this is a big concern, is how badly our frames tank when those big, you know, purge zombies come in. And I'm going to talk to Furious Ramsey about that and see if there's a solution for it. If there isn't, and if that does not happen with normal um, rebirth playthrough, I might have to start the series over and, and not do that. But here's the thing. I mean, I've got a pretty powerful machine. I, I do. It's... um. You know, I think I got a, a 14900K Intel processor um, at the time that I bought it, which was almost a year ago. It was like the fastest Intel processor that they had, you know, that wasn't like a Xeon, Xenon, Xeon, whatever. And, and I'm running a um, NVIDIA, let's see, what am I running? A uh, 4080 or 4070 Super Ti, something like that. <laughs> I don't remember. Um, you know, so I've got a, a fast machine. And so that's not, if that's giving me a problem, that's going to give other people a problem too. So it's something that's going to have to be looked at, you know, um, but I'll, I'll talk to him and see if there's a solution. And if there isn't at this point in time, we, it, we might be further ahead just to, to start over and just play the normal mod instead of the purge mod. I have to say though, I really like the purge, uh, concept. So, you know, if, if he can get it to where the performance 
isn't an issue, then this would be a hell of a lot of fun to do. But we'll see how it goes. And I will, I'll let you know what I find out in the next episode, if we're going to switch or if we're going to stick with this. And if we do stick with this, you know, then we'll go to the efforts to start moving into our new house here. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.